Dad's of Eerie. That's right. It's episode 73. Jay and RJ. We're in the basement. Down here in the basement. Summertime. Summer, summertime. Yeah. You remember the song, I Like Girls That Wear Abercrombie and Fitch? Yeah. <laughs> That's a great song. <laughs> This is going to be the, one of the all-time summer songs. You know? I like, how's it go? Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to sing it for yeah. you. I know it. That and <laughs> uh, Vanilla Ice, Ice Ice Baby. Yeah. Those I were... was listening to some of that music because I was putting together a playlist for a certain someone's birthday party. The big 4-0. Yeah. For the Mrs. The Mrs. J. Yeah, she's, how fun is that? Fun. I know. I know, man. We We met. She was a, a puma, a cougar in training. Now she's arrived. <laughs> she's because she's one year older than you. Yeah, a year and a half. Oh, nineteen months or something like that. Okay, so that makes her who's a, counting a cougar. Yeah, apparently you are. <laughs> she robbed the cradle. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. We'll go with that. Hey man, how's your summer? Great. Yeah. It's hot. It is hot. This week's hot. Last week was not hot. Have you noticed we're in, we have the traditional monsoon Colorado summer now? Yeah. With the the rains, rains coming over the mountains yeah. in the evenings. Have you noticed the clouds? They're just so gorgeous right now. They are. They're getting huge at night. Yes. It's awesome. I know. I you know some years we have drought years and we don't get the monsoon like we are getting right now. We're still pretty dry though. We are pretty dry. Oh, high fire risk. High fire. Don't blow off your hands, kids, with fireworks. <laughs> How about Fourth of July in Erie? Dude, it was awesome. People were doing a lot of fireworks. There was a lot of explosions. Yeah, it was like 360 degrees around my house oh. of like full-on show. Somebody Man. at Collier's Hill has spent some money because it was like a minute and a half long of like boom, 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 for like a minute, seriously, a minute and a half. We timed it. Yeah. How great is that this awesome. year? I know. Because there's no real shows. There's so I feel no like real... people compensated quite a bit for themselves. Yes. And like, fact, fine, you're not going to have shows because of Corona? We're going to do it ourselves. Oh, man. It was great. It was the best 4th of July we've had in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Vista Ridge, we we had the Colorado legal, okay? Street legal. Yeah. Yeah, we had some fountains. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. But there was others on the block, and it was just covered in smoke, man. Yeah. The smoke all It was great. Yeah. It was one of, yeah, seriously, beautiful night. The rains came, cooled everything off. Yeah, it cooled down actually quite a bit. Got everything wet. It felt nice, yeah. Did you see the night before, though, someone let off some fireworks at the golf course? No. Colorado, and I, yeah, and <laughs> they had to call the fire department. <laughs> Started a fire? Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, man. Oopsie, yeah. someone. I've been Yeesh. there and done that, actually, so I can't. Is that a golf course on fire? <laughs> not a golf oh. course, but other. That's, that's a story not for a podcast. Oh, okay. Legal the statue of Tanius is probably out. Well, yes, that's very true. But anyways, Fourth of July was the best this year. It was really good. I know. Yeah, it, it was, was fun. There's uh, neighbors that we were watching, and their canister tipped. You oh, know, geez. and that thing shot off through the street, through the houses, and like over houses. <laughs> it was like, oh no! There's a reason trained professionals are usually <laughs> left with those type of fireworks. <laughs> it's because they're really big. <laughs> And dangerous. <laughs> they are a little dangerous. They're like, wow. They sort of slowed down on their fireworks after that for a while. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, well, let's take it easy. Yeah, but what a great 4th of July. Yeah. I love this country. This is the best country in the world. It is. Oh, man. We want to know it's been a long year. We're messed up. We have some, you know, we're not perfect, but. No. We're, we're And we're in a really bad political cycle, but, but come on, man. We're still good. We're still good. Yeah. Yeah. God bless America. <laughs> That's all I got to say. <laughs> and that's it, folks. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's it. Well, let's wrap it up. Hey, anyways, man, episode 73. We got a lot to talk about. I know. You texted me a list. I know. Well, you, you did your prep. Well, we had garage sales season has started. It did. How cool is that? I know. I think uh, Kenosha Farms, I think, is having theirs this, this weekend. This weekend? Yeah. Great, man. Take away wads of cash on Saturday. Yep. I'm sort of waiting for next year when all the fitness and bikes are up. I I uh, I'm sort of going to not spend a lot of money this year in garage sale season. Wait for season. spring of 21. Oh, man. I'm coming loaded. Yeah. <laughs> Buy everybody's used, slightly used uh, exercise equipment. And bikes, yeah. 
Because they'll make it through the corona and then they'll make it through New Year's resolution season and they'll go, why do I have this stupid chair in the basement? Yeah, totally. Yeah. And everything would be fine. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait for 21. Yeah. Uh, garage sale. But yes, I got a lodge. Uh, cast, cast iron, iron skillet. skillet. Yeah. yeah. And, I, you've been using it a lot? Dude, that thing makes the best grill sandwiches. <laughs> well, because yours has like a weird, it has like grill lines almost. It has the grill lines. Yeah. It has like, yeah. And I haven't done burgers because, you know, I got a grill outside. Yeah. But- but come wintertime, you might be a good option. Not have to stand out in the I'm cold. telling you, the grilled cheese sandwiches that I've been creating are masterful. Really? Oh, yeah. Grill marks. You know, it's just perfect. How's it's cleaning a- it? Because I feel like that's one that everybody that I talk to struggles with. Because yeah. it took me a while to kind of get in my groove of how to do it. You know, you you have to savor the moment because cleaning it is a pain. In yeah. The, yeah. Uh, I think Bon Appetit has a good video. Okay. The the magazine, but they have a good YouTube channel too. They have a good video on how to do it. Oh, I, I follow their, their method. Their method. Okay. Yeah, it takes. You a wash while. it normal, and then you go at it with, and then you uh, you put it in the oven at three fifty and let it dry off. Then you go at it with like a paper towel soaked with a little bit of oil, and then you just let it sit, and it's like perfect every time I pull it out. Wow, that's impressive. So it's, it's a little a, again dedication because you got to yeah. turn the oven on and heat it up and I don't know man the, boil off all the moisture because that's the whole that's the problem is right they're, they're and eventually the curing does go away right you, I mean a lot of them are pre pre seasoned or whatever but mm-hmm. that stuff wears off so you got to kind of re season them yeah keep them up once in a while yeah I mean those sandwiches are divine man. they're so good I bet. yeah I'm glad you but anyways because that. that was a garage sale find. that was a garage sale find yeah. yeah and sort of an impulse buy and I'm glad it worked out yeah. Because, you know, I wasn't looking for that in the grass cell season. All right. Hey, breaking news. I have watched. <laughs> breaking news. I have watched Tangled now. What? On Disney Plus. Really? It was in the road trip. Have you never watched it? No. You remember oh, John yeah, we've David? Had this discussion, yeah. Number one it, fan, John David, considers it better than Frozen. No, he considers the music better than Frozen. And I see ah. why. And the storyline is a little, a little more funny. It's more it's into, into the Wright, Sh- Shrek category. Yeah, I think that. I wonder. Oh, that's a good point. I wonder if they were trying to kind of compete with Shrek because it was oh, yeah. a similar era. Because that's it was really sort of funny. A little more funny, a little more witty. Yeah, the music was, too is a little more. Yeah, and you know, Frozen's good. Not but, as dark of a story because Frozen gets kind of not dark, but especially gets, Frozen Two. Frozen Two gets dark. It's yeah. like, uh, why are we watching this, yeah. kids? Yeah, but no, Tangled is a good mu- movie. It is. I appreciate it. No, I appreciate it. I like it. It's it should be considered one of the top, you know, like ten classic. Yeah. Top ten, top fifteen Disney movies. I it, I think it's a generational thing. Yeah. yeah. It has that's, to be. That's it, like I felt like Tangled it came out at a time where I was not I yeah. wasn't where I was at. Yeah. It wasn't Frozen was came at. out when I had a kids. Yeah. So I was like, okay, this now I get it. Yeah. But But Disney Plus, man, there's a great movie on there, A Lion Witch in the Wardrobe. I forgot how good that movie is. I know. I wish they had done more. Yeah, they, I, yeah. I originally, I think they were going to, but I think just those they didn't do as well in the theaters as they'd hoped. I think. Yeah, Prince Caspian's a little lame, yeah. and then they sold it to Fox, and Fox did Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Yeah, which is better than Prince Caspian, it way is? better. Okay. But that's where it ends up. Yeah. It's funny though, because then they bought Fox, so now they own it again. <laughs> yeah, but then it's not on Disney Plus yet. Weird. I know, but. Lion, Witch, and Wardrobe is a classic okay. on Disney Plus. Yeah, a must for your family if you're going to do a family movie night this yeah. year. Yeah, we've I think we tried to start watching it, and the, it, our kids are still just a little too young. It's yeah. not scary necessarily. They're just like okay. Yeah, you uh, need to be born. about six plus yeah. to enjoy that one. Yeah, but I could see that. it's really good. Good, but yeah, Disney Plus is really good. I mean, I haven't watched. They've kind of come into their groove. I feel like yeah. they kind of started, and they were, and I think some of that was. Con- contract stuff and there were some tech issues and i think they've kind of come in their groove and they've obviously brought you know hamilton's now on there yeah have you seen it yet we started watching it the other night but okay. it's long it's like two two hours and 40 minutes or something oh I mean, my it's goodness long. it's dedication huh? yeah that's on the must for us this weekend I it's think. a good one uh yeah just prepare for two plus two and a half hours plus of but, rapping yeah of constitutional yeah. ideas <laughs> i mean it's good i can <laughs> see why it was so popular oh really it's a really interesting way to tell the story Cool. And then, uh, but, you know, Mandalorian was awesome. And then, yeah, obviously all those classic Disney stuff. So, yeah. Man, you know what? The summer is great with in Erie, Colorado. It's sweets. Yes. We don't give that thing enough credit. Maybe we do. We did. <laughs> we for did. For a while. We talked a lot about it. Yeah. You remember when they did coffee? I'm just going to go. Yes. Back. And they had a full store. Oh, man. That was a, that was, 
That was the golden era of Erie, of Colorado. Sweets, yeah. Right there. That was the golden era. But now we have Fox Dog. We do. We and do. And Sweets is still here. And yeah. now they're doing Little Man and Glacier Ice Cream. So I know. we kind of got the best of both worlds. We do, really. We, we, we're we really spoiled with our- And they have two locations now. I mean, kind of, we've matured. You know? We've matured. <laughs> As a city. Man, but Sweets is so good. And, you know, this summer, the, the flavors are different than last summer. Yeah. I like how they do that. They keep some of the good ones. Like Funky Donkey's always there. Yeah. Like the Salted Oreo is the one I always get. That Ooh. one's really I good. had Salted PB&J tonight. Ooh. And that was pretty good. I wish that I had coffee with it, though. Yeah. I needed some coffee to cut the salt. Yeah, Ben closes too early. He does. He does for our <laughs> Come on, sweets, ben. E- sweets eating. Yeah. Yeah, but um, no, no, it's really good. Crew. Oh, I forgot to tell you. What? Fourth of July, we had a family football game. Really? And, the, you know, the little boys are getting old enough that they're playing. Yeah. You know, we're they kind of understand some of the fundamentals. Enough yeah. to play some backyard football. Totally. And enough some of the bro- brother-in-laws to get competitive, you know. Not including Jay. I, I'm guilty of this as well sometimes. But I, my team was down a touchdown. Okay. Okay. Brother-in-law Jake and myself, along with my little guy and one of his little guys, were on a team. Okay. And my little guy, no, his little guy passed me the ball, middle of the field. I had to make it to the end zone. And uh, Uncle Tim and I were racing to the pylon, and I dove. Really? Well- Thankfully, the Mrs. J got a picture of this. In the picture, I think I saw it actually. Yeah, Uncle Jake is pushing Uncle Tim, and his knee is in my temple. I've had concussion symptoms all week. Like seriously, <laughs> concussion symptoms. There's a reason we don't play. We don't play contact sports at, at our age. I will. I will say the picture shows I was across the goal line before my knee was down. Okay. So, so I tied you, the game. You tied the game, but you took a concussion. <laughs> you got you got CTE now. I got I got, uh, got a temple. brain damage. Yeah, I got a knee in the temple, which my temple is really sore. So, Jeez. <laughs> oh man, it was crazy. It was fun, but yeah, it's just one of those wow. games, you know. Just one of those things, Jeez. you know. As I was in midair, well, let's just say, as I was tumbling to the ground to the yeah. pylon, <laughs> somewhat gracefully, I thought, maybe. This probably is not the best idea. And then the knee just whacked me in the side of the head. Yeah. That's how you blow like an ACL or something. <laughs> That's true. Hopefully I'm still spry enough to not worry about that. To just as much. sprain things <laughs> yeah. randomly. Yes, right. Like, oh, my, we, oh, 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 oh. I didn't know. What is that? But yes, concussion protocol has been in the house this yeah. week. <laughs> Jeez. All right. We need to talk about camping because we just Yeah, went. we just went camping. We went to Lions. Uh, we've talked about it before. You can go back in some of our old it's, episodes. It's our annual trip. It's our annual trip as a, as a group of friends to uh, the Laverne Johnson Park in Lyons. Awesome park if you yeah. guys just need a place to go. I think they're doing reservations now because of Corona, but good park. Really awesome park. Lots of fun stuff, but also has camping. Yeah. And really great because our kids enjoy it a lot. You're basically camping in a park, so that's like probably the more ideal situation with younger kids for under seven year olds this yeah. is a perfect camping because yeah. you're glamping you're glamping your bathrooms your you just showers yeah there's showers there's, there's a out there's power outlets nearby <laughs> well not near there's, group, there's a group shelter there's a group shelter yeah, yeah. i had to air up my queen size <laughs> <laughs> mattress carried across the soccer pitch and then you should have paced that out so we know how long of an extension cord to bring next year I know. I was so close. The The second night when someone had to run back into town, because it's so close, you can't. Yeah, that's the. I asked them to grab another. We had three extension cords to get it there. A daisy chain extension cords. <laughs> For a nice little top off of the queen mattress. Nice. With, yeah. But we enjoy it every year. Yeah, we, we can't recommend that park as a park enough or as camping. And it's super close, but it feels like, you know, camping. And, and we ran into one of our viewers out there, our listeners, actually, I said. We did? Yeah, well, you weren't around because you were a little grumpy that day, but yes. You were. <laughs> Me? Grumpy? Yeah, never. 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 But uh, yeah, he was out there, and he was like, man, this is a great place. So, yeah. yeah. Don't get my campsite next year. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the trouble with that place. You it, you really have to book in January. Yeah, you really got to do. You got to get going. But the water was higher this year. Yeah. And that made for some adventures, and you know. Yeah. But tubes are really fun to have. Tubes are really fun. Just got to be safe with it. Yep. Uh, it was, yeah, it was cold water, though. Oh, yeah. But, but it feels good. It feels when, good after a while. You numb up eventually. Yep. We went on a big run that day, which was fun. Yeah. 
It's really a lot. Of, it's a it's a lot of fun. It's we can't recommend it enough. I don't think. No, I I mean if you're if your wife unit or your husband unit even I'm yeah. not ginger bias here, is not into camping. That's the need, place to go. You need to settle them into the idea. That's the place. Yeah. Right. Because it's yeah. Or if you've it's never a step been above camping. putting up a tent in the backyard. <laughs> I mean, it's a step. It's you know, it's the next step after that. But it's not like a tent in Disney World. So no, it, true. No. But, but they have tents in Disney World. They do. And that's a really cool park, yeah. that RV park. Yeah. Someday I want to Fort do Wilderness. That. Fort Wilderness, man. It's great. Yeah. great. Someday we're going to arrive and have an RV. Yeah, you need an RV. Yeah, we need an RV. Actually, I've been thinking about a pop-up trailer. Well, that's how you. That's the gateway. Because now I, I could probably tow that. Yes, you could. Because what happened? Either with the van or with my new purchase. Oh, wait, wait, what's your new purchase? Uh, <laughs> breaking news. Uh, I bought a Jeep. Wow. I know. I'm a cool guy now. Yeah, you are. It's, it's hard Cool to, dad. It's hard to be cool. It's cool. It is funny that you bought a car that your family can't fit in. Any car other than a <laughs> Suburban or a minivan my family's not going to fit in. No Honda Pilot. Okay, there are a few cars my family can fit in. We've but. had a listener critique us on her purchase of a Honda Pilot and then got pregnant when she sold her minivan. Hey, man. And got a Honda Pilot. Yeah. Well, she can, at least they can still fit their family. At least they can fit their family. Yeah. Unlike you. <laughs> Which I think maybe is on purpose, actually. Yeah, maybe I want to be alone. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes you just need the open road. Sometimes I just need to tick top off the Jeep. When did the face? I, t- I tried doing that the other day, and I was like, "This is it's actually kind of like it's fun when you're going slow, but as soon as you get going fast, you're like, okay, this is the fun kind of wears off. Really? A little bit. No, not at all. Also, I was worried my head was going to get sunburned. <laughs> the real life dad yeah. life. So you need a dad hat. In there. I Now i got to find a dad hat to keep in the Jeep for when I take the top off. <laughs> hey, man, skin cancer oh, is real. Jeep, that's my Jeep hat. Yeah, it's your Jeep hat. Yeah. No, that's really cool, though. Yeah, I'm congratulations. Excited. Thank you. Yeah, it's been a, a long year, so you know, well deserved. Yeah, you know, with all the things going on in the world, that's right. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty cool. I can't wait to go on a double date with you. I know. Put our girls in the back and listen cruise. to some Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Anyways, that's... I don't even know what that band's name. I just know the song. I think it's LFO. Oh, it is LFO. You're right. You're right. We're going to listen to it after. Oh, man. It's going to be so good. I'm going to add it to the playlist for the birthday party. Oh, I can't wait. But yeah, uh, it's going to be fun to get on a double date. It's called Summer Girls. Summer Girls. That's right. There's a lot of inappropriate songs that Jay likes to listen to sometimes. Oh, it's already on my playlist. Whoa, it's already there. We were Great minds were thinking alike there. Anyways, well, it's good to be in the basement again. That's right. We're back, and we love you guys. Yeah, we Thanks do. for listening. We love to hear from you. Hit us up, dadsaviri at gmail.com. Find us on Instagram, at dadsaviri. Probably the best way to get a hold of us, if we're totally yeah. honest. Uh, and, of course, go over to YouTube. You can see all of our old episodes, because we are too cheap to pay for podcast hosting. Yeah, Unless it, you want to sponsor us, so, you know. And I, I was thinking holla. about that. Anyways, wow. hey. Also, if ah. you find something in Erie, Colorado, tag us in it that yeah, you think is interesting. For sure. Love to know. We'd love to repost it and talk about it. Yeah. Word. <laughs> <laughs>